So I'm going to go ahead and start the timer as soon as I turn on the machine and we'll see how hot it gets and we'll see how long it takes to get there. Today we're going to go ahead and check out this Drio Oscillating Ceramic 1500 Watt Heater. It does have a range of 40 to 95 degree. It is a digital thermostat. We'll go ahead and leave a link in the description below. Let's go ahead and open this up and see what's inside. And now that we've got this space heater opened up, we can see the content and what's inside the box. As you can see, it does come with a nice remote control with rubber coated buttons. The space heater also comes with a user manual. You'll also find the five year warranty as well as the community card they offer. All right, so now that we've gone ahead and pulled it out of its box and see what's inside, let's go ahead and plug it in and turn it on and run some tests on it and go through some of its modes. I really like the size and compactness of this model. It says it comes with a tip over protection. It looks like it is internal as opposed to like a switch on the bottom or something like this. I don't see anything like that. There's also the trip safety switch on the plug. So we don't have any shorts or anything like this. And it does power on. So let's go ahead and just go through some of the hand on unit controls first. Clearly we have our power button. We have our oscillate. It says it has a 70 degree oscillation. And as you can see, indicated by here in the LEDs on the screen, there are H3, H2, and H1. Let's go to H1. And you get that through the different modes, plus or minus, here on the top. So plus will bring us back to H1. H1 is rated at 900 watts. H2 will be 1,000 watts, and H3 is rated for 1,500 watts. And the different modes is eco mode, which is the fan only, and it also oscillates in this eco mode. We can also set it to a thermostat mode. Let's stop oscillation again, and we can set our temperature here. Let's set the temperature for as high as it can go. And this unit will go up to 95 degrees and stop as opposed to going back to the start. I actually like this. This helps like if I'm searching at night, I could just go as high as I can and know it's not gonna cycle back down to the low of 40 degrees. And I can feel the heat from here. It is nice and warm. We also have the remote, which will control the power on and off. And this does have a 30 second countdown after turning off the model. And as you can see on the screen right now, it is going through its countdown. We're at 17 seconds before it fully shuts off. And now the unit is completely turned off. Let's turn it back on and go through some of the remote controls with the on off here at the top switch, your plus and minus, your modes and menu. This is the mute button. I can mute the machine so that when I hit the buttons, it doesn't make any noise or I can unmute the machine. This way every button makes a noise. 95 degrees. I could also control the oscillation from the remote with the oscillation button. That's pretty cool. And I can also set the timer and this is cycling through the hours. It'll go up to 12 hour timers all the way down to zero hour. Next, we're gonna go ahead and check out and actually see how long it takes for this to reach full temperature um, and actually how hot this element actually gets to bring this room to full temperature. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the timer as soon as I turn on the machine and we'll see how hot it gets and we'll see how long it takes to get there. So we're gonna go ahead and start the machine and the stopwatch at the same time. Now we're gonna go ahead and take this thermostat and put this in front of the unit and see how hot it gets. I just have a little clip in front of there to go ahead and hold it. I can tell already that this thing is actually putting out quite a bit of heat. It feels pretty good. It's hovering now at 160 and that was at approximately two minutes and 10 seconds. Now we're gonna go ahead and do 
a decibel reading and see how loud this machine is. And the readout I'm getting is 59 decibels. Now let's go ahead and test out the tip over safety feature. It will give you a P4 readout and then it will go into its shutdown mode, which takes 30 seconds to let the fans cool down and the machine cool down as well. And once again, it will not turn on or operate unless it's back in the upright position. So let's go ahead and put that back up. It comes out of the P mode. And once again, I can operate the unit. I'd say honestly, it's a great little unit with the winter coming up.